the girl with no name landed on Earth with a thud. It wasn't a big thud or a small thud, a loud thud or a soft thud. It was simply a thud. The girl stood up and looked around, and although she landed in the wilderness, the girl with no name was not afraid. The truth be known, the girl had no idea she was a girl, or that the earth was the earth, or that anything at all had a name. She was free to see things exactly as they were. She didn't see black or white. She didn't see rich or poor. She didn't see fat or thin. Everywhere the girl looked, she saw something beautiful. And to the girl with no name, beauty had no opposite. The wolf lay panting in the sunshine. He had just eaten a dozen field mice and was enjoying the feeling of a full belly. The wolf had noticed that most people wanted to be afraid of him. So when he saw the girl with no name, he pretended to be something very scary. He raised a fur on the back of his neck. He bared his teeth and growled fiercely. However, the girl had no idea she was supposed to be afraid of wolves, so she wasn't. She simply stood there and smiled. What happened next was a great surprise to the wolf. The girl with no name walked over and kissed him smack on the lips. After the kiss, the wolf started dreaming. It was a very vivid dream in which he is no longer a wolf but a little boy. And he and the girl spent the entire day playing together. At sunset, the boy kissed the girl on the cheek and turned back into a wolf. The dream felt so real that the wolf wasn't sure it was a dream at all. But when he awoke, lying right next to him was a very large female wolf, and they spent their entire days playing together. And that's that. Ha, ha, ha.